All right, guys. So this question is longest palindrome. This is different than the other version. Other version is asking us to find actually the longest palindrome from the substring. But this is they're giving us this array of uh, this string, and then uh, they're asking us to return the length of the longest palindrome that can be built with those letters. So this is totally different problem and I think it is a good problem I, I mean I couldn't solve it honestly but then then I worked on it and then I got it anyway so uh, the idea behind this solution is basically if we have like in this string if we have even values it is fine right we can use right away we don't need to do anything because we can put this even value one like one part to the left side one part to the right side and we will get the palindrome but the thing is if we have an odd value in this case we can still use this odd value we don't need to use whole part of this let's say we got uh, 3d right okay we got 3d and if you wanna like create a palindrome by using this odd value we can just take its uh, odd uh, even values which is like if we mm, subtract one from this uh, 3d we will be getting 2d right so by using this 2d we can again create a palindrome so the idea is if we have an odd value we can still use it we can still use its even values and we can add this one to the even and we if we have it even we don't need to even like think about it anyway so this one was the uh, this was the explanation and i will write it right now start coding and then here first of all i will create a uh, frequency counter object and then i will reduce this one and c and a c is equal to a of c plus one or or one Turn A, and then this will be now. Oh, this will be an object. Then we will have let even let odd values will be zero also again. Then for let key in the in the object. And if our like I said, if our object of key is equal to I mean it is even if it is even then we don't need to consider let uh, even will be equal to uh, object of key so then if we have an odd frequency in this case we can still use this uh, odd value we can use its uh, even values which is this and then odd value will be equal to one then the next thing that we want to do is actually right away return even plus odd values. Yeah, there you go guys. This was the solution. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.